Alba. And you, and you, thanks, thanks for dressing like a movie star too. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you. That's of good. course, I, I absolutely would get well, dressed up for you. you. Nice to see you too. God, you're on the cover of everything, and I want to ask you about. I was looking through this movie, uh, this magazine, Arena. I didn't know this mm -hmm. movie, but some of these uh, pictures are quite uh, sexy. <laughs> like this one here. Well, it's just my face. Okay, oh, no. you know it's so funny because that's the same outfit I wear when I ride my motorcycle. Of the high boots and. The... <laughs> And there's another one here. What's this the next one here, which is... Oh, no. I'm trying to think. Is that... <laughs> is that... Is that the Lone Ranger's mask worn lengthwise? Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a bathing suit with jeans. Okay, and there's one last one. I'm covered one. up still. Uh huh. There's one last one in here. Which one? Where is it? Oh, I must have put it on my wall already. No. <laughs> uh, I don't worry about it. Well, never mind. It's on it's on Let me ask you something. Yes. Because you know, you, you, years ago, when you, when you were younger, and your dad would come in. Your dad is like the strictest dad. I've well, been, he's hilarious. Yes, I love he's very, dad. he's very conservative. Oh, I like your dad. He yes. makes me laugh. But now, what's he think when he sees these sexy pictures? What does he think? Well, at one time, he he called me, and, and he was very serious. And this is, you know, after GQ came out, and he didn't talk to me for two days when when GQ came out. Oh, was that right? He was, yeah, yeah, he was very nervous about it, because um, he said his friends. He was, like, you know, my friends. And I was like, I know. I'm sorry, Dad. Um, so he gets, I get a call, and he's like, call me back. And so I called him back, and I was like, Dad, what's going on? And he was like, you have to sue. You have to sue Playboy. And I was like, Playboy? He's like, you're in Playboy. You have to sue. And I was like, I'm in Playboy? What? What, what, what is it? And I was like, wait, why are you reading Playboy? Yep. I'm like, what are you? You're saying me. I, I'm not even showing anything. So I looked. I got the Playboy. Yeah. I, I looked, and, and it's a paparazzi picture. Oh, it's just a regular. Yeah, so you're not you naked. No, or you can't sue. Oh, but okay. he has no business reading Playboy. Oh, really? That's terrible. He says it's his friend. Is a security guard there? So somehow he has to look at the magazine. I mean, I don't know. His friend probably just wanted to help. Yeah. That's all yeah. it was. Now you have a new boyfriend. I just met him. No, what's his name? I love his name. What's his name? Cash. Cash Warren. Now, yeah. is he a Chippendale dancer? I love that name, Cash Warren. <laughs> Cash Warren. He That's fights crime on the side. Nice. No, no. Well, he seems like a nice guy. He's wonderful. No, no. he um he's actually very smart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's Tim Story's producing partner. Oh, okay. And that's his yeah. real name, Cash. Cash, Warren. his mom named him. Oh. Okay. After uh, the street in LA called Cashio. Oh, but Cashio. You, but you okay. left off the Okay, so, so, so where did you meet? Where did you guys meet? How did this happen? We met, um, we met during uh, the movie. Oh, all right. Yeah. During the movie. And he's not new. Yeah, we've been going out for 11 months. Oh, all right. Well, yeah. it's, it's, I know. Like, <laughs> now, see, you're squirming. Now, why is that? Because <laughs> it makes me nervous talking about Now, are you the jealous of... type? You seem like you'd be the... Are you just jealous? Oh, type? I get so jealous. Yes. Really? Yes, so jealous. Really? I've actually never been as protective over anybody as I am over him. Really? Yeah. So, like, if, if you were, like, talking to me and, you know, suddenly you saw a woman talking to him, let's say, over there oh, in the corner. Oh, no. What would happen? Then? I would have to go talk to her and tell her what's up. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, how, oh, how, yeah. how would you talk to her? I would just be like, that's, he's mine. Like, just yeah. back up. Now, what, I noticed, what was this gesture? <laughs> I don't know, sometimes, I mean, yeah. I mean, hopefully I won't ever have to use any physical force because that would be bad it would oh. be in the papers but i'm not scared to oh wow so, <laughs> I need to. I'm not scared so, to. so let's say you caught some woman trying to make change with cash as they say. <laughs> nobody's making change with cash no. but me oh okay. <laughs> well, have, have you ever been in a fight um, I, when I was younger with yeah. boys, and then really? stuntmen when I when I was doing dark. <laughs> really Angel. funny stunt. Yeah, well, because sometimes they wouldn't they they um they wouldn't watch themselves, and they yeah. would accidentally kick me or punch me, oh. and so I'd have to like give them a good smack. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so now, I can I, I can hold my own. Well, but my grandmother, uh, yeah. she's very protective, and yeah. she sort of taught me, uh, you know, how to be protective of your man. All the, really? Yeah. Now, how about the other way around? Do you like men that are jealous? Um, like if you're just talking to somebody, hey, who is that guy? I mean, do you, is that is that like a turn on, or do you, do you hate that when you do? It? I like it when he's protective. Oh, really? yeah. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> oh, that's cool. 
<laughs> now, was your grandma the jealous type as well? Oh, she? yeah, she was. Really? For sure. Um, whenever women would try to chat up my grandfather and try to be sexy around my grandfather, my grandmother would go in the, come out in her shortest little Daisy Duke shorts. And she has a fabulous body. She was a dancer. Really? And she'd be like, and she just would dance around in front of my grandfather's friends and just sort of give it to him. Wow. <laughs> and when she was like 55, just still serving it up. Wow, 55, that old. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> Surprising anybody could get it up at 55. Hey, we'll be right back. More with Jessica right after this. this MTV thing you hosted recently? What was oh, I, I hosted this, um, it was MTV Awards uh, pre-show to, so, to show like the best moments of MTV. Right. They're like, oh, it'll, it'll be no, no time, it'll be like an hour and a half, and you just go and you introduce the show. Right. It was six and a half hours at Universal Studios. Right. It was insane. I went on rides. I had to do what you're doing. I had to read these teleprompters. People were writing stuff. I've never done anything like that before, so I was terrified. So all of a sudden they're like, okay, now we're gonna do, you know, the best romantic moments in the MTV Awards. And I was like, okay. So I'm like reading the dialogue that they're like frantically writing and going up and they're like, okay, and, and you're gonna do a kiss with one of the animals. And I was like, really? Um, what kind of animal would I be kissing? Cause yeah, I, li I love dogs, but, right. but other than that, you know, yeah, yeah, it does, stay yeah. in the jungle. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. In the jungle. In the jungle. Cause I knew it was going to be one of them jungle animals. Right. Right. So of course they bring a monkey and I'm like, oh no, I have bad experience with monkeys. Really? Um, yeah. Now, now what, where, where would you run into monkeys on a day? Well, I've been, I did a TV show called Flipper when I was a kid oh. and we had a monkey and the monkey, um, bit my brother on purpose, like ran across the yard and latched on my brother's calf and took a chunk out. And I wow. was like, so ever since then, it was a little monkey, a little Reese monkey. I don't <laughs> like monkeys. Okay. And then we're in, and then I did a, another movie and a monkey would come, like wild monkeys would come and, uh, and just take your food and well, they would... Where were you that wild monkeys would come and take your we food? Were in, um, <laughs> we were in Sarawak and uh, it was like, um, where were, is it, Borneo? Borneo, oh, okay, yeah. so you weren't just like sitting in New York and monkeys no, would come no, and take no, your food. No, 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 I was like you're in the shooting jungle. in the jungle. Oh, I thought you were just somewhere no, and monkeys came no, and no, took no, your food. No, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they were just hanging out in Manhattan. Me and the All right. monkeys. Okay, so you're in yeah. Borneo, so and these monkeys took your food. And the monkeys are taking food, oh. and they go to the bathroom, and they throw it at you, and they're just terrible. Yeah. So, like, stay, stay in the forest, fine. Right. But I don't, I don't like to ha interact right. with monkeys. Okay. So they're like, Tia is so sweet, and everybody loves her, and she's going to sit on your shoulder, and you're going to give her a kiss. And I was like, really? Do I have a say in this? And they're like, you got five minutes to shoot this. The sun's going down. We have to do it. Sure. So all of a sudden, I have Tia here, and I'm like trying to concentrate on the dialogue and I'm trying not to look at her in the eye because I know like you shouldn't look animals in the eye. I don't know where I heard that, but I think I heard it somewhere. <laughs> so I'm like trying not to look at her in the eye and I'm reading the thing. And then it says, okay, now turn your face towards Tia. It was the stage direction and, and give her a kiss. And so I was like, so now this is my favorite kiss. And I went like this and I pursed my lips and she somehow, I didn't know monkeys had these really long tongues. Somehow. <laughs> She Frenched me. Her whole tongue scraped all my teeth and my gums, and in like a millisecond, it was like, Err. and I was like, oh my goodness. And I looked towards the camera and I finished the rest of the dialogue, and I looked over and I made eye contact with Tia. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, she grabbed me like this, and she went, ah! and I was like, oh no. And she's like this little monkey, and I thought she was gonna bite wow. my nose off. So, yeah, you know, yeah. stay away from monkeys, whatever stay away you do. From you, you, do, you do not have a good reaction. No, monkeys. monkeys are mm. terrifying. Now, now t tell us about Fantastic Four. Now, tell us what it's about. Yes, Fantastic Four is. Um, true story. Is, is a true story <laughs> about scientists. Um, <laughs> it's actually the most successful, um, most popular oh, Marvel sure. comic. Sure, I, know I, I didn't know that. Yeah. And I, you know, I thought Spider-Man or something, yeah. but no, it was fantastic. And you play, uh, and you become invisible. Yes, I play Sue Storm, the invisible woman, right. and she uh, goes invisible, and she puts up force fields. And now, do her clothes become invisible, or do you have to be naked to be invisible? <laughs> she actually has to get naked to be invisible. Oh. <laughs> but it's a PG-13 movie. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I didn't know that either until we were shooting. No, I was like, <gasps> Then the monkeys came and took your clothes. And then the monkeys yeah. came. <laughs> 
<laughs> would you want to be invisible? Is that a power that you would like to have? Well, you know, if some, you know, if I thought somebody was trying to be shady and I had to eavesdrop on some girl trying to chat up cash. Oh, okay. <laughs> and what superpowers do you have? Are you invisible and what else? She goes invisible and all of her, uh, it, when she goes invisible, it's based off of her own emotions. All of right. our characters are. Okay. So Reed Richards is a scientist and he stretches Mr. Fantastic and he's a scientist who reaches for the stars, but he, he sort of spreads himself too thin. Okay. And so his, he stretches. Johnny Storm is her brother and he, go, he catches on fire and he's this like sexy guy, really smart, smooth talker. Right. When he's chatting up a girl, his temperature rises and he like goes catches on fire. Yeah, so um, I've had that happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Every day. True story. And then uh, Michael Chiklis is the thing, and often he uses, you know, his brawn over his brain. Okay. So when he gets transformed, he turns literally into this He-Man, this rock man. And, and um, you have your own action figure. And now, we do right? have our so, own action figure. Is that what I, that I actually, is? I saw yeah. that sitting there. I brought it. Okay. <laughs> Miss that? Sue Storm, and she has her, uh, I, I don't want to squirt you, but she squirts. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's kind of cool. I just, I just got this, so I'm playing with it a lot lately. <laughs> and you're uh, 11 now? Yeah. Right? <laughs> hey, well, I grew see. up so fast. See. So let, oh, I see. Oh, and I see. And it's clear, because this means she's invisible. Yeah, she's invisible, and that's her force field. Okay, and of course, you know, guys right away, you want to make the feet invisible. That's the one thing. <laughs> okay, so then actually, that's nice. oh, I see. Well, well, very cool. Now, we, we, have, we, have a, we have a clip. From the yes, we have a clip. And okay. this is when, uh, in the beginning, when they become the Fantastic Four, it's a disability, not an not an ability and they have to sort of embrace their power so they're testing their powers and uh, and all of her invisibility is based off her emotions. Let's so take a look. Here we go. Fantastic Four. You should be able to bend light around other objects, even people, if you could control your emotional state better. Excuse me? I'm saying if you had a little more self-control, you could locate the trigger. Can you remember your exact emotions on the bridge? <laughs> Anger, rage, Frustration. Okay. Is there any way to duplicate that feeling? Some memory or... I'm sure I can come up with something. How's that coming? Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Cash, better watch out. <laughs> All right, fantastic for it. Open tomorrow night. Jessica, yes, always a pleasure. Say hi to Dad for me. I will. And you know that I taught Jessica how to play basketball? You did you did, tell her? Yes, I don't, I, that's the only sport I can't play. And I had to go up against this one right here. Wow. And he was like, come on, be aggressive. And I was like, well, look, but look, I'm don't, scared. Don't put, don't put your hands on me like that, because Cash is in the back. I heard, <laughs> Cash, hold up. <laughs> don't, but, you know, just, you know, I heard what you said, Cash, I'm not doing anything. Right. You know, I'm trying to be cool. Here. I already got in trouble because I got a lap dance by Destiny's Child on TV a couple days ago. Oh, that's oh wow. Right. Yeah. On the BET Awards. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. But it was fun, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, almost like you're asking for another one. But let me ask no, you this. No. <laughs>